This is the Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, his poppy is drinking coffee and holding Simeon. Yeah. Oh, he's wanting to show you his eyes. I'm not kayaking today. I'm ornamenting today. <laughs> <laughs> on this beautiful tree. It's huge, see? <laughs> it's huge. Very tiny, you mean. These beautiful ornaments that we bought at TJ Maxx. What in the world did we do without TJ Maxx and Home Goods? I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, my parents are with us here in Maine. The last video we did, we did uh, some Christmas decorating inside our motorhome. And we're going to do a little bit more Christmas decorating today. And, of course, we're going to show off the baby. We're going to make this motorhome even more Christmassy. We're going to do a Christmas tree with some Christmas ornaments on it. We're going to put a hand towel up uh, that tis the season. We've already added this thing. Jesus is the reason for the season, and he certainly is the reason for the season. And also, I'm going to let Cheyenne tell you a little bit about one of my absolute all-time favorite ornaments ever in the world. All right, mom's got a process here to hold these ornaments on the tree. Frankly, they're almost permanent. Mom, will you explain? Yeah, I'm just taking floral wire because to me that's easier to work with on these smaller trees. They're a lot thinner than these type of ornament wires, but this floral wire is very pliable. I'm just taking ornaments because these are glass ornaments and we don't want them to fall. Um, like this. And then I crank it together and just kind of pull these together so that when I know I'm going to place it somewhere and instead of them dangling because the tree is so small instead of them dangling like this you want to it, it gives it a cleaner look if you just place it place the ornament wherever you want it to go and then you take your your floral wire wrap it around and see how clean this looks up next to the actual branch yeah, that's the way I fantastic. did these and it, it just makes it a cleaner look what do you think Shy? love it it looks so good so pretty I love it this is something Sister Teresa bought him when she came to the hospital before he was born and it's just a little ornament that says you put his photo in it it says baby's first Christmas it is so cute there's a little bell let's make a smoothie smoothie. All right, we're gonna add some Wyman's, oh, of Maine, fresh frozen mixed berries. Okay, we're gonna add one banana, and a lot of times I have these in the freezer, um, which makes a smoothie a little more icy, but I don't have any in the freezer right now. And, of course, creamy almond butter. I like peanut butter better than almond butter, just by itself. When it comes to putting it in a smoothie, the almond butter has a certain flavor that just tastes amazing. Vanilla protein powder. What do you think, Mom? How's the smoothie? This is delicious. Up here in Maine, that's the reason I got my gloves on, keep my hands warm, and my cap on, keeping my head warm, and I'm drinking a cold smoothie. <laughs> but this cold smoothie actually tastes really good. Guys, you got to try this recipe. That is absolutely off the chart. It is so tasty. You <laughs> too. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a good spot right here. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, keep my eyes closed. Here, keep your eyes closed. 
So let me explain this a little bit to you all. We were given this at the hospital. Our son was born 5 pounds 3 ounces and in a very short amount of time he went down to 4 pounds 7 ounces. Oh, yeah. And they decided uh, to supplement what Cheyenne was feeding him. Uh, we would give him uh, some Similac which most people are familiar with that. And uh, we supplement his typical feed with Similac. And this is the way we use it. And they gave it to us at the hospital. It's kind of unique. It's kind of different. That is why my wife was using this. Uh, we've been using this since we got out of the hospital. Say hey, buddy. Hey, hi. He's been waving. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. So, uh, let me say a little bit, because I haven't really talked about Simeon on here. Uh, he is the easiest baby in the world to take care of. Our kid happens to be very relaxed. The only time he really ever makes a noise is if he's hungry or if he's got to go potty. Other than that, he's very, very calm. And he likes to be awake, open his eyes and look around, but uh, he is the calmest baby. All right, let's put this in its place. All righty. So this is a tree that we had in our wedding. And it really goes good for this time of year for Christmas decorations. You're going to have to take and that gum spot. out. <laughs> so this is a tree that we used in our wedding. And it really goes good this time of year um, for Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she has gum in her mouth. <laughs> this is... Nathan's favorite Christmas decoration. I love the little palm fluffy uh, <laughs> boot warmers. <laughs> I didn't notice those. Boot warmers. <laughs> now this is Simeon's deer. It's his first deer. And he didn't even have to go out into the woods to kill it. Interesting note, my uncle is a, a taxidermist. And uh, he does the real thing though. He doesn't put cloth over top of a... Uh, molding. If you want a good taxidermist for your hunting trophy, Google Alcovey Taxidermy. I look for Ray Knight and uh, he actually does a fine job. He's done all kinds of different animals including alligators so look him up. So this is a stocking that my great grandmother knitted for me and my siblings and my mom and dad and it's just really special and we'll always have it. She passed away a couple years ago so this means a lot. And what we are going to do is we're going to have a little fun with it and we're going to put Simeon inside of the stocking. <laughs> 